Hello everyone, let's go through this practice problem. Now this problem is fairly simple, as long as you understand the basics of Coulomb's Law, which states that if we have two electrically charged particles, the electrostatic force between them is equal to the Coulomb constant K, multiplied by the product of their charges, divided by the square of the distance between them. With this problem specifically, we're given the magnitude of the force that we want, and the magnitudes of the two charges. But we're looking for the distance between them in order to have this value. So what we're going to want to do is take the formula for Coulomb's Law and algebraically solve it to find r. So let's start by multiplying both sides of the equation by r squared and dividing both sides of the equation by f. We find that f squared is equal to the Coulomb constant multiplied by the product of the charges divided by the force. Solving this for r is a simple matter of taking the square root of both sides of the equation. So the distance between the two particles is equal to the Coulomb constant multiplied by the product of the charges divided by the force, and all of that underneath a square root. So really, all that's left for us to do is plug in the values that were given to us by the problem, and then find the result. There are a few things that should be noted, however. First, it's important to understand that the Coulomb's Law deals just fine with magnitudes. So if we're given a force magnitude, it's fine to only deal with the magnitudes of the charges. The re reason I'm saying this is because the negative sign on q sub 2 might be problematic because you can't really take the square root of something that is negative underneath it. But it's okay because we can just ignore the negative sign entirely and it's not going to make our calculation invalid. Another thing to note is that we're given these charges in units of microcoulombs, so make sure that you, when you do your calculations, you write them in regular coulombs as multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6 coulombs. For example. And finally, remember that the Coulomb constant k has a value of 8.99 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared. And that's it. Just plug all these values into this equation, and what we find is that r has a value of approximately 1.39 meters. So that is how far away the two charged particles have to be in order to get the given force magnitude of 5.7 newtons. And that is all for this quite simple problem. That's it for this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have any questions and anything you don't understand, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you just like to hang out, my Discord server and my alternate YouTube and Twitch channels are all linked in the description down below. So that is all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye bye